Scarlet and Violet has had some of the most insane tier changes we have ever seen in any meta. One example being Mew in the never used tier. Keep in mind Mew was OU just last generation. The main reason being for this drop is that Mew lost its recovery in Roost or Recover. But NU still feels too low of a tier for Mew, which is why today we'll be reviving the set dubbed as Demon Mew, with Iron Defense, Calm Mind, Stored Power, and either Body Press or Draining Kiss. Let's go remind the tier just how powerful Mew really is. I will never not be shocked by this generation's NU, Infernape, Mew, so many others that are just so crazy to be in this tier, it's wild. So today we're using Demon Mew, shout out to Professor Snake for this team. Uh, she used it in actually one of my tournaments, which is really cool. I love Mew in this matchup, it actually straight up looked like it just wins. I very, 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 very easily. I, hmm. Only Para from Thunderous can beat it. Like high key, only para from Thunderous can beat it. So let's start off with our spec Sylveon. Click some buttons that they lead off with Bronzong. No big deal. I'm actually just gonna get off a huge Shadow Ball. Though this is setup fodder for my Mew, I want just a bit of damage because I can get up my rocks as well and do a little bit from there too. I don't have rocks on this team. <laughs> what am I saying? Squad will be on my website though, pogame.com. We'll go Swamper. They may bring out their Bomb Snow, but I can flip turn on it. As they end up bringing out Dragalge. Uh, I'm gonna go for Earthquake. Don't care too much about Avalug at all. Might as well go for knockoff here too, just to get rid of its item. But yeah, this seems to be decent setup opportunity for me. I don't switch in very well to this Pokemon, I'll admit. But maybe I just go for game with Mew. Maybe I do just go for game with Mew. I feel like I feel like it's so good that it can just win at preview. I really feel like that's the case. Right, I'll do it in a sec. I'll go out to Sylveon first on the Rapid Spin, which doesn't make a difference at all. And we'll just click the Specs Hyper Voice as Jigalji comes out. This is something I want to get rid of because, well, first off, look how much you took. Secondly, look how much my um, look how much my T Spike are gonna go crazy versus their team. I don't want to take a Gyro Ball though. I would Terra Fair. Uh, that's like a roll to KO. That's not in my favor. I would I would argue, but yeah, a Heavy Slam. Exactly. I think flip turn is fine. Bring it on Avalog. And then we just kind of see what they can do. I feel like that's the play. I'm going to Calm Mind up first. As long as I don't hit them, Avalanche isn't going to be doing anything. So Calm Mind up first. And then we Iron Defense. This cannot Toxic me. So Iron Defense. This should help me beat Obama Snow. Go for another Calm Mind. Obama Snow can't really do too much to me besides freeze me, so I'll go for another Iron Defense. And uh, I think we can just start stored powering. They don't really have switch-ins. Thunderous comes right out. 86% is crazy. Go for another stored power here. I'm not gonna take too much from Thunder. Oh my God, I took nothing. Yo, do I have the veil up? Bro, I'm only plus two. That's crazy. I think we just body press here as they belly drum. Again, this is Demon Mew. It is insane. And I'm going to take absolutely nothing from this. I'm going to take absolutely nothing from this. Stored power after. I'm glad I did not tear a steel, though. It only would have done double that damage. We knock him out. And that is 6-0 on the high ladder of NU for our first game for Demon Mew. I knew this could do this. I just wanted to like gauge damage first. And I feel like, you know, a little bit on under Gougie, that way if it terrored. I mean, I always had Terra... Uh, steel to avoid like sludge bomb poisons, but Terra Steel was a little bit iffy in this game just because Iron Defense from Avalog plus uh, Well, it wouldn't have Iron Defense. I guess this actually wouldn't be it would be recover plus body press Huh, would have been a decent spot Either way, that's exactly the showing I wanted to have in the first game for Mew Now if you do enjoy this content, please let me know consider subscribing on my way to half a million just hit 425,000 subscribers first quarter of the year gone and first quarter of you know my weight, not really, but you know what I mean, 425 and 450, 475, half a mil. So pretty awesome. Thank you so much if you want to be part of that. But yeah, team will be on my website, Pokemon.com. Let's get another game and we'll be right back. All right, crazy team from the opponent. I wonder if they'll give me T-Spike immediately. Because Mew does win immediately, right? I, I want to try and get a T-Spike though. We'll see, because they're definitely going to lead off with Mew. Uh, let's see if it's Taunt. If it's not, I get up the Toxic Spikes. Perfect. So one layer is all I really need. One layer is absolutely all I need. 
Let's see if we can just start winning the game with Mew. I'm going to assume this is like spikes and stuff. So, one layer. Psychic comes out. I'll go for a calm mine here. As I get up Stealth Rock, perfect. And we'll go for an Iron Defense. And that may just be the beginning of the end. Like, actually. Don't think I KO them just yet. Go for another one just so I take... All their mods are physical attackers anyway, right? Yeah, I did nothing. All right, body press time. T-Spike are up. And Sonora dies. If they tear, I always have stored power as well for everything else. So we're looking really good right now. We're looking really, really, really strong right now. Very strong right now on this Pokemon. This is Demon Mew for an absolute reason. This is Demon Mew for a reason. It is so crazy. And the crazy thing is, I actually have like such a great flag on into this. It's Life Orb Dragon Dance, but it has first impression. So it checks so much of their team. All right. First Pokemon, that probably the only Pokemon that could do damage to me, gone. Most likely the only Pokemon that could do damage to me, gone. Right? So that's gone. Don't have to worry about that. Gallade can Sacred Sword. I guess Night Slash could crit. Just going to store power into that. Does not kill. They do go for Sacred Sword, so it does ignore my boost. However, we get a billion percent off. Another stored power. Gallade is gone. Again, as long as T-Spec are up, I'm not worried about any of their Pokemon. I think I have too many options into them. Plus, Umbreon eats a hit from everything, too. So, if Mew wants to come out and go for another Psychic, I'll take damage on Mew. Yeah, I figured it'd come out. I wonder if they can even do anything to me. Ooh, Meteor Beam. All right, so I definitely died a Psychic here. Uh, what I'll do is... I don't have boots on this Mon, so... What I'll do is I'll go Umbreon. Just wish up. Earth Power isn't going to do crap to me. Also, Foul Play smokes any all any and all Mons. Also, Terra Poison just wins. There's no point in Terrasalizing there. So, they actually cannot beat me even with this Mon. Oh, this Mon definitely don't win. They go in Shell Smash. You can have everything you want. Obviously, they're going to have a White Herb, right? Oh, they didn't have a White Herb, so they just died. Huh. Okay, you too. <laughs> How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Yeah, I don't think the crit mattered. This is going to SD, right? I'm just going to Terra. Take the hit. Did not even SD. Foul play. Did I get a, a double crit? That just does that much. Yeah, I got a double crit. But they can never win that game. So another 6-0 with Demon Mew. And again, I'm in high ladder. I am uh, almost 1,600 on the ladder. Just to show you how high ladder uh, we are. We're right here, right? We're number 19 currently on the ladder. Again, normally I record this with Rabia, but Rabia is, isn't here right now. I'm actually going to be recording with him a little bit later today. But uh, I'm happy with how these games are going so far. We'll pause it and we'll get into the game. A lot of threats on the opponent's side. We absolutely hate to see Dragology. We just want a game where we don't have to fight a Dragology, man, at all. I uh, absolutely love my Sylveon, though. It goes stupid in this game, though they do lead off with that Serena. So I have to be a little bit careful because power is strong. I'm just going to go for Hyper Voice. I'm going to go for Hyper Voice. Getting rid of their potential spinner is so nice. Power up is going to hurt. Ah, I'm going to believe it doesn't hurt. Yeah, I'm at, I'm, I doubt Psy Shot kills. I'm just going to repeatedly go for this because if they want to get up T-Spike or Sludge Bomb, again, just getting rid of this Mon. This is so, these are such good turns for me, right? I got Serena weakened. I got Dragology weakened. Professor Snake, when she gave me this team, she said, listen, use Sylveon to punch holes early and then win later. I was like, oh, cool. I could do that. I could do that. Good blitz from the opponent. Uh, we do have to worry a little bit about Lucario. I'm going to flip turn as well. Keep up offensive momentum. And then bring this Mon out. Hopefully, by the fact they have zero switch into this Pokemon, they don't switch this time so I can get up Toxic Spike in this game. That's what I want. Just be for slow, bro. Just to make the game a little bit easier. I suppose they could bring out Lucario now. I think Swampert lives plus two. Ape comes out. Are you going to U-turn this turn or Flare Blitz? I'm, gonna, I'm Hyper Voice. Because this gives me free Toxic Spike. Very free Toxic Spike. Again, I'm, I'm a little worried about Lucario, but I think Pert should cover it. Yeah, Pert should definitely cover it. Get up a double layer too. This is barely a switch. And I'm actually going to Sludge Bomb. 
Now that I'm thinking about it, they're not gonna knock me out with Psy Shock. They're not gonna knock me out with anything. Look how much Sludge Bomb just did. Perfect. And now we just flip turn here. I'm assuming Lucario could come out. They actually opt to stay in. That's fine. Can't teleport a skull. We'll just go Umbreon. Nice. It's time to get a wish up. Skull burn would be a little annoying, but at the end of the day, I'm in a decent spot. I guess they could Psychic Noise this turn. I could just Foul Play. I, I get the wish if I Foul Play, so I'll just Foul Play. Again, because I have the... I have the Terra Poison at the end of the day to beat this. It's just, it's, and Scrafty isn't too big of a deal. Yeah, you can spin on me if you really want to. I'll just Foul Play you as well. Like, I mean, I'm getting these kills. Scrafty isn't too big of a deal, and as long as I get one, one Iron Defense beats this entire team, right? One Iron Defense beats this team. So luckily I can bring out Swamper here. This, I'm assuming, will be Moxie, but it, just because they were so keen on rapid spinning, obviously it doesn't affect Lucario. Terra Steel. Oh, cool. I'm gonna kill this mon. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that was smarter than the dude. I don't know if Earthquake straight up kills, but that was smart of them. CC definitely destroys me. Unfortunately, they are Drain Punch. Oh man, no. I think they should have kept Scrappy around. A little bit more. Lucario, this can't even do anything to me. You got a CC. I don't even think U-turn kills. I'm still clicking this move. Okay, if they're on a balloon, this was a god play. If they're on a balloon, this was a god play. God play. God play. Love it. We'll just iron defense up. E-speed shouldn't beat me. Oh, now they definitely lose. They're not killing me. Ain't nobody running Crunch on Lucario, by the way, in this year. I lied. I guess they are running Quen. <laughs> oh, they got the defense drop, so they actually were saved, which is very funny. That's cool. Anyway, we'll just stored power. I wonder if I just... No, I should always save Terra for Umbreon, just to be safe. Yeah. First impression. Actually, if they're Jolly, this is an issue. I'll Terra steal first impression, so I live E-Speed. Yeah. Because they, they, they KO'd me, right? I, I take half, so that was the better play. Perfect. So we were able to win there. If Mew did not get defense dropped, Mew was, uh, Mew was winning that game. But there we go. We have just pushed into the 1600s. Let's get another game on this fast climb today. Very nasty team from the opponent. Very excited, though. I'm going to do exactly what I've been doing every single game and, and, and lose a Pokemon right here to this demon. What the? Yo, this Mon is probably the scariest thing in existence. And I get a very, very, very lucky dodge. My bad, fam. That was a very lucky dodge. I'll go for Toxic, though. I'll take advantage of my very lucky dodge right there. And what we'll do is we'll go Pert on Swampert's Rocks. Can't really do anything about Hazards. I just want to go for Knock. Get as much damage off on everything as possible. Oh, that was AV. Okay, yeah, I was getting smoked by that. I really want to get up a Toxic Spike here just for Umbreon. But Mew doesn't really care anyway because of Terra Steel. So it's like, do I need to? Okay, they're gonna power whip here. Where are my switchings? Oh, this mon's a problem. That's fine. Just sludge bomb. Poltergeist is gonna hurt. Yeah, it hurt. But at least I got rid of Bramblegast, which is really annoying from you. So I'm very happy about that. Oh, and they gave me Tox Spike. Let's go. Best case scenario just happened right there, I feel. I think I can just punch. Hold on, let me just go for this. Go for iron defense first. Knockoff is annoying. Hopefully their flip turn last. I don't think I should have calm mind, actually, now that I think about it. I'm going to take this as an opportunity to KO this Mon. In a sec, anyway. I'm not... Terra and Iron Defense, so I don't take anything from this Toxic. And then that's a kill on, I think, the only Maw on their team that could actually kill me. I think. Surely I do way too much damage to you. Oh, just shy. Body Press kills them even if they roost. Revelation Dance should not kill me exactly. And then potentially their entire team loses to this Mon. Oh, another one for Demon Mew. So, like, obviously having no recovery on this Pokemon hurts, right? And you could use Draining Kiss Terra Fairy 
for sure. That's an option. Or even Terra Steel just with Draining Kiss over Body Press. But I love the immediate damage of Body Press. And Terra obviously makes up for the fact that you're losing your item or you're losing stuff because it's really hard to KO a Mew if you don't know what type it's going to become. Basically, I do not see this Pokemon staying NU. It has managed to avoid bans twice in the NU tier of current NU, but I do not see this Pokemon staying NU that much longer. Whether it eventually moves up or they ban it or put it on the slate, but we'll get into the game. Alright, this is a person I played before. I'll lead off with Dragology this time. And then... What are they even switching to this demon? I'm just dropping a Draco. They gave me a Scarf, which isn't amazing, but I mean, they did just lose their... their Infernape. Uh, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, I don't know what this Scrafty wants to do here. But I'm a Roar this time. I'm just gonna straight up Roar. We know it has Terra Steel. Lucario is a threat. I don't know if they'll actually SD immediately. They may. Should I just go for the combine? They have crunch, right? So they're actually, they're most likely not running. I don't care. I'm clicking hyper voice. I don't, I don't care. Like they most likely don't have meteor mash is what I'm trying to say. So I'm clicking hyper voice every single time. 10 times out of 10. Get rid of this annoying threat. Again, Scrafty with Terra Steel is annoying for sure. Scrafty's very annoying with Terra Steel, but Terra Poison Umbreon I think beats it via foul play. So I should be okay. It's mainly the Lucario I'm, I'm worried about. Oh, you're gonna knock me? Oh, please, I would love to be knocked on my Dragalgy. Please, knock, knock my Dragalgy. Let's go. See if we can get a Tox Spike. I didn't think they would stay in to knock again because Sludge Bomb is very free, but I'm assuming their thought process is they can bring out their Lucario and set up on me, or they can go out to their Dragalgy, which I'll gladly drop a Draco on. Yeah, I will gladly drop a Draco on you. You, be you better be running. You best be running a ton of speed. Nope. Cool. So Scrafty comes out. It's a threat, but I think foul play wins. We flip turn here. They tear a steel immediately. I want to say foul play wins. I want to say foul play beats this. Did a good chunk. I can wish up one. Actually... No, I should wish on the knock. I should definitely wish on the knock. I'm a little worried about... I'm a little worried about Luke. I'm actually very worried about Luke. Ah, oh, I got flinched anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter now. Probably just lose. Keep you alive. Yeah, I think I just lose the game because I got flinched. That's unfortunate. Unless this thing is so weak that it doesn't KO me, but it definitely KOs me at plus two. Why would they go for the weaker move? I don't know why they went for the weaker move, but we have been blessed. Uh, this is not to say that we win because I definitely don't think we win yet. I will get a lot of damage off of them with Life Orb Dragon Claw. I think this forces a CC. I don't think E-Speed kills. E-Speed actually might kill. Okay, it forces CC. Perfect. That's what I wanted. I mean, this also, I, I, there's, I'm just basically trying to weaken them to the point of Mew. If this thing doesn't die, this is my play to KO them, but I'm pretty sure Mew kills them. How about to say, all right, I'm about to say, I don't think Snake died there. Cause again, they, I, I mentioned in the beginning, right? If they had crunch, they don't, they most likely don't have Meteor Mash. Right, which means uh, me being max HP specs, which is four speed, which is really cool. I typically, I like to run a lot of speed on my specs mons, but I love this because it allows specs Sylveon to punch a lot of holes. So really uh, nice, well-crafted team. Very fun. Very, very fun. We're number 10. We're currently top 10 in NUA. Hey, Rotes top 10. Accomplished. Let's get into the game.
We got a game versus the Meganium team, which looks absolutely insane to deal with. Of course, they have a Bastiodon. Every other Molnad team is whatever, and then, then they have Bastiodon, which is very, very, very sad. Um, Dragon Dance Flagon is pretty good. It's all right. The first impression is going to be nice, though. I like, again, I kind of like Sylveon, just doing what it wants to do best. Uh, I assume I get knocked here, but I'll go for the Hyper Voice anyway, just because I do a billion percent. I always go for it, regardless of Bastiodon coming out. Yeah, you're gonna take a lot. You you gotta switch. That's what's gonna happen. You're gonna eventually switch, and I won't be. It has soundproof. Oh God. Oh my God. So I can't roar it either. I wonder if they predict me to double out to Swampert. I'm a happy voice again. All right, just just checking, just checking, just checking, just checking, just checking, just checking if this was actually rocks in their team. Oh, it's sub. I can't roar it, which is very funny. <laughs> I can't roar it. All right, sub body press. So it's probably iron defense last. Meganium comes out. Get rid of its boots. Only Chandelier is the problem. Everything else is kind of like whatever to me. And Cryo coming in and getting poison is really good. Freeze dry hurts. I'm a Drake. Because I'll tank this. I would only Draco here because I got the poison, right? Because at least I can force a recover and go for flip. I'm trying to think of my best way to knock this Mon out is. I think it's you and clicking first impression. Because it actually it hits Meganium and it hits Bastiodon. Yeah. There you go. Life Orb first impression. Let's go. Life Orb Dragon Claw, do you kill? I don't I have no idea. I don't feel like doing the quick math. Anyway, we definitely Dragon Claw here. Give me Meganium. Because it could have a Leech Seed. I'm assuming they still gave it Leech Seed. Oh. Okay. I'm a Dragon Claw again. There you go. Thank you for giving me Flygon. Don't have to worry about you. They have a lot of points, so I figured I, I can make that play. If they trick me, I think I win the game with Mew. All right, now we just wish up and heal my homies. I think so. Surely this is gonna tear into something annoying very soon. I'm gonna flip every single turn. Bring you out. First impression gets a kill. They already Terra ghosted, so they can't actually Terra. Wait, they can't Terra. They already Terra ghosted. Nice. Um, cool. We can just go for Dragon Claw. Pick up that KO on Cryo. Awesome. Obviously, you're annoying. Always going to go Umbreon, though. Fully Spadef. That was a good trick on their part, but I think the second they tricked, they lost. I think they just lost. What do they even stop foul play with? Hmm. Ooh, okay. I'm just gonna flip. Because I can just hit them repeatedly. Get up a T-Spike if I force in something. Because I already knocked off their boots, right? So I'm gonna get up a T-Spike here. I'm assuming they go Bastiodon. And now I'm a Draco, anticipating them to want to go out to Skun Tank. Because if I go Pert, you don't get anything from it. So you should go Skun Tank. Again, I could get... They only have a uh, body press. This mod isn't too much of a, a, a problem. So I feel comfortable making this play. But I also think it's the play they should make. Exactly. Don't miss. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Go ahead and knock me off. Oh. Guess I just wish... 
I mean, it's the same thing, right? Right back to you. I think they get cooked by this. Because, yeah, they, they poison me here, but that's okay. I don't think this beats me 1v1 when I, if I go Mew. I could be wrong, though. Well, that crit me, which is really unfortunate. We definitely iron defense up now. Now we calm mind up on the on the ghost gun tank. Just body press. Cool. We should win the game with flag on very soon, I think. Cause we know what your set is. Watch this first impression. Watch this first impression. Wait, I shouldn't, because they're, uh, I actually shouldn't make that play. I have to Earthquake. Yeah, because they're life, exactly, they're life orbs, so I actually have to make this play. Hmm. Do I lose? No. Double layer wins. Excuse me, one layer wins. One layer should win. Because I flip here, one layer should be, help me beat Meganium. Cause I always flip here. I think I have it. Yeah, we just get plus six. And body press back, basically. Iron defense. As long as I don't get crit by knock, I win. So I'm actually just gonna... I'm gonna Terra here just so Knockoff doesn't have a chance of killing me. I think I win anyway. Oh, I might have just lost. No. Do they double here? Is the problem? Is it is the question? Do they double here? Right? Because they may throw and try and double hard into Bastiodon. Them having Encore is so whack. Ah. Because if I go Dragology and flip. I think I just lost. Okay, here's my thought process. If I go Dragology and flip turn, I get in Mew, but they probably think they win. Well, they probably do win from that position, right? No matter what, with Bastiodon. So my thought process is, do I stay in and call them choking and doubling out to Bastiodon on my Dragology? No. They weren't gonna make the play anyway, yeah. They weren't gonna make that play. Always flip. I have to. Does store power do six? I gotta check. No, Encore on Meganium. Damn. That got me. Probably shouldn't have Terra then. Mew. Store power does kill. Store power does kill. I think I just lose the Bastiodon though. Actually, I just hit it. I have to hit it. I hit it once. Comes down to you. Can't hyper voice them, but I do have Shadow Ball. 20. Ooh! One more, baby! Ooh! Oh my god, undeserved, but we freaking got him. Let's get away from here. Whew. Yeah, it's hard to type GG when that happens. <laughs> All right, well, we end at number seven on the ladder today. Definitely got lucky in that one. I guess I shouldn't have Terra. I, I mean, I was risking crit from Meganium, but most likely crit didn't even kill. So like, in what I would have done, done was, shot to freaking Snake. Ah. Oh. I know, I know people don't like me drinking water in between because the, the new mic picks it up really well. I'll look at it. I'll, 
maybe I'll edit that out or not. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, yeah, that was that was crazy. Sylveon went crazy. Mew went crazy. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe as well. Team will be on my website, Pokemon.com. We got to top. Oh, we got to number seven on the ladder, right? Not bad, not bad. I'll do another video with Rabia, most likely for his channel, sometime later today. But I will see you guys in the next one. That's it. Peace.